Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this fall look. It's very simple with just like bold lashes and a bold lip. And I focus on making the skin look just like soft and flawless. And I added in some fake freckles as well. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I did was do my brows off camera and I used the ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Bangin' Brunette and I set those bad boys with Tanya Crooks, the Brow Gal Brow Gel. Then I went in with the Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser in the shade Fair and I used that to prime my eyelids just by dabbing it on and blending it out with a sponge. And then I went into the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette and I just took the white shade Heaven and I applied that just all over the lid to set that concealer and make sure that it wasn't going to crease. I curled my lashes and went in with a coat of the Blink Black Lash Primer. I love this stuff. You don't have to do anything like super heavy for mascara. Just apply a little bit. Give them a little volume. Make them dark so they match in with the falsies, you know. Then I'm going in with the Salon Perfect 615s. These are just like super long, super wispy, and very separated with a super thin band, so I love them. I applied some Duo Lash Glue, and then I took some tweezers, and I just applied them like I always do. I'll link my How I Apply Eyelashes tutorial for y'all. Then I'm going in with the Ciate. Is that how you say that? Ciate? Ciate? I don't know. I'm going in with this eyeliner, and I'm just lining that top eyelid to make sure that those lashes are hidden. I'm taking the Blink Black Lash Primer again just on top of them. You can use any mascara just to make the lashes a little bit darker and a little bit more bold. I'm going in with the Too Faced Lip Injections and I'm applying this to my lips so that they will get nice and plump while I'm doing my face. This stuff does work, but it hurts so bad. And if you're interested in all of the products that I'm using, check the description box. I will have everything listed below. I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This stuff is really nice. It's just very moisturizing. And I'm just applying it to my entire face. I'm going back into the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. I'm going to use this pretty much on my face, kind of like foundation. Not really, just only using concealer today. And I applied it in weird places, but that's only because I'm using a really thick concealer under my eyes and I didn't want it to be super heavy. So this is just acting as like where the brightness would normally extend to had I applied it like under the eyes as normal. You'll see what I mean in a second, but I just applied it where I normally do to highlight and brighten and cover any redness and I blended it out with a damp beauty sponge. So the nose, the forehead, the chin, and then this weird like slightly under eye area. <laughs> This is the concealer I'm talking about. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I'm just taking this and I'm dabbing it with my finger onto my under eye and then I'm blending it out with the sponge. And it's so thick that I didn't want to put any other concealer in the same area, but look at that. What, what a difference that makes. So I just apply with my finger and then I tap it out with the sponge. And then I go right in with the sponge and the RCMA No Color Powder because this stuff will crease like crazy because it is so thick and I just took a whole bunch and I baked my under eye area and then I just added a little bit of bake to the nose to give myself some brightness and then I took just a tiny bit of setting powder and set some of that concealer so it didn't move on me. I went in with the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer in the shade Nude and I just applied this to some blemishes that I had on my chin area that the other concealer didn't hide but I didn't want to use anything that was brightening because that would draw attention to your blemishes and I set that as well. I'm going in with the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in the shade Medium and Deep and I'm going to use this to bronze up my skin on a super big fluffy brush and I'm applying this to the cheeks, the forehead, and the neck, just the usual areas. I'm going to go in a little bit later and add a little bit more definition but for now I just dusted some on and then I went in and wiped off all of that bakage and it just left me looking like nice and bright under the eyes. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
I'm taking that same brush again and just kind of going over the areas where the RCMA No Color Powder was just to kind of mesh it all and blend it together. Then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Highlight and Contour Palette and this is in the shade Dolce de Leche and I'm just going to take a Luxie small contouring brush and just the tiniest bit of that dark shade and apply it right to the contours of my face just to give myself a tiny bit of definition. I'm wiping off that lip gloss and I'm applying a coat of the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear Chapstick because you want to keep those lips hydrated after all of the hard work they've been through while they plumped. Going in with Milani's Luminoso Baked Blush, this is an amazing blush. It's just like a soft, corally shade and I'm applying it to my cheeks. Yes. I'm going into the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights Highlighting Palette. I'm gonna take the middle shade. Oh, look at them all, they're so pretty. I'm gonna take the pink and I am gonna just go crazy. Sorry. I'm gonna go crazy and apply it to my cheekbones, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, the forehead, and the brow bone. And I'm using a Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush for this part. And then I'm going in with, I'm not sure of the number, I'm gonna leave it down below, but this is a Mikasa Flat Shader Brush. I'm going into the ColourPop Pencil. Look at, isn't it great how my dog chewed it? Yes. This is a ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude, and I'm just lining my waterline with it. And then I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and I'm just going to use this for the lower lashes. This is great for the lower lashes because it's such like a tiny, thin, it's a baby wand. Then I'm going back into that same brow pencil, the ColourPop Bing and Brunette pencil, and I'm going to use this to create some freckles. When I'm creating freckles, I just kind of, as you can see, dab the pencil onto my face. And I like to use different pencils. So I started with this one. And then I go in with another pencil and just switching up the shades and the shape. And then I went into the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is like my everyday brow pencil. And I added some more dots using this. And it's just, like I said, added a little bit of dimension, a little bit of like difference among the freckles. And so once I got them all on my face, I go back in with a beauty sponge with like no additional product at all. And I just like gently tap them into my skin and just kind of make them look like they're like in your face opposed to just like on top of your makeup I'm back into the makeup geek highlighter palette and I took that same pink shade let's look at them again they're just so beautiful and I used that Mikasa flat shader brush again and I just applied it to the inner corners of my eyes I'm going in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Scrooge. Oh my god, this color is amazing and this formula is fantastic. It does not budge. It looks amazing after I ate like 10,000 meals. It's definitely one of their like newer formulas and it's just so good. So I'm applying this to my lips and then I'm taking the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray and I'm applying this to my entire face, spritzing, giving myself life. I just love setting sprays so much and that completes this look i hope that you guys liked it it's a very easy it's really pretty it's like a lot of drama with the lashes and the lips but like super natural fresh skin and a kind of like innocent sweet look with the freckles and i just love it so much i'm probably gonna like wear this look every day of my life thank you so much for watching if you like this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos my name's alexis and i will see you next time bye Thank you.